Hey YouTube, it's Luke here. Today I wanted to do another review for you. Uh, this is on the WEN 10-inch bandsaw. Now understand, this isn't something I would probably normally buy. Um, I wasn't real excited about uh, this WEN brand. I wasn't sure I had never really heard of it. Um, I watched a couple videos on YouTube and I read a couple reviews online and uh, it actually looked like it was a pretty nice unit, so I thought I'd give it a try. I was in the market for a smaller bandsaw. I just cut some smaller stuff, even some scroll type stuff around the shop. So I got a couple different blades for it. Um, so I wanted to do a review on this because I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, this saw is actually really nice. Uh, when I got it in the package, the entire saw unit up here comes assembled except for the table. The table is not mounted, the fence and the, the scale on here. And the stand is not attached to the bottom from the factory. Uh, it's got a really nice stand. It's really durably built. Uh, it was relatively easy to put together. It came with all the wrenches and everything. Uh, it took me about maybe 10 minutes to get the whole thing put together. Uh, the table mounted on real easily. Uh, everything went together real simply. The blade was already there. I just had to tension it. Uh, I lined it a little bit on the top wheel and uh, that was it. I started cutting. Um, so <clears throat> this saw runs really well. I was cutting some uh, six inch boards yesterday. I was just kind of ripping them down the middle uh, to make some veneers. Um, I did have a little side to side action with the blade so I didn't get a perfectly straight cut but I think that's partially my fault. I need to work on um, the type of blade I'm using as well as the blade speed um, some other things blade tension. But um, it works wonderfully. It runs very quietly. It's very nice. Uh, it's got a port on the back side uh, for dust extraction. It goes um, three inch, or I'm sorry, four inch, three inch, or two inch. It's got uh, holes for each one so you can hook up to it. And it's pretty neat. It's got a really nice sized motor on the back with uh, aluminum cooling fins on it. Uh, just looks like it's actually really well built. All the bolts are heavy duty. Um, you know, the adjustments for the table angle and things like that, it's not built with plastic. It's all steel, so it's really nice. Uh, the table is very heavy duty, uh, very thick. Um, <clears throat> It has a really nice LED work light on it, which I thought is cool. Uh, there's a switch right here on the side. If I flip that, uh, you'll see I'm going to shine it at you. <laughs> it's pretty bright. Um, it's actually extremely bright. It works really well, though. Makes it easy to see what you're doing. Um, the fence is very easily moved. There's a handle right here. You just flip it up and slide this up and down, and it locks in really tightly. Um, <clears throat> it's got four bolts on the bottom here to help you align the scale or this rule on the side uh, where the fence goes. And once I got that dialed in, uh, my cuts are perfectly accurate each time. Uh, it's got a nice little miter uh, gauge that comes with it. Uh, it's kind of cheaper plastic, so I shouldn't say it's that nice. I think if anything is kind of crummy, it's probably this miter gauge. Uh, it sort of fits loosely in the slot and it's just you know, one of the junk plastic miter gauges, but it'll work fine for most applications, you know, you'll be using it. So, so it's very easy uh, adjusting the blade tension is right on the top, there's a knob. Uh, the blade alignment on the top wheel is right here on the back and there's a lock knob for that, so uh, it's not gonna come out of alignment very easily. And then to raise and lower this blade guide, it's kind of a cool system. There's a little locking knob on the side you just release by turning it, and then you just make this adjustment, as you can see I'm doing, uh, up and down with a fine-tuning wheel. Again, very nice unit. Uh, you know, it feels like it adjusts well, it's not gonna break on me. Okay, so I just thought I'd take a minute and kind of show you how this cuts and kind of show you the details of this. Um, on this top door right here, we can spin this knob. This will open it up. Got a nice wheel in there riding on a bearing. Um, again, just, just loving it. The construction is great. <clears throat> now the light's really bright, so I'm going to kick that off so we can kind of see what we're working on there. Um, <clears throat> if I take a piece of wood here, that would be a miter gauge. In here, it's not too loud. I can easily talk over it. I could run this thing all day and wouldn't be annoying. Makes nice cuts. It's nice and smooth. There's an indicator down here on the fence, uh, so you can see what kind of measurement you're at. And I'll just give you a view of the back side here. You can see the stand, really good construction. All the way up the back, there's your flexible arm for your light. This is the alignment adjustment right here. Uh, they tell you a little bit about blade tension up here at the top. Uh, 
So that's it, that's the 10 inch Wen bandsaw. Uh, seems like a great little unit. Um, I'll do a little update video for you in the future to let you know how its uh, longevity works out. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. And if you get a chance, uh, please subscribe to my channel. I have lots more videos coming your way. Thank you.